Hello and welcome to Aerospace Propulsion. I'm Dr. Jeff Defoe. In part one of this lecture, we're going to review the course syllabus in detail. A draft version is currently on the Blackboard site, but it may be updated over the course of the first couple of weeks of classes. I'm going to switch over to that syllabus and discuss it in detail now. Here's the syllabus. Uh, I'm going to go through a few key pieces of information here. Uh, first uh, thing to discuss is my office hours. These are currently tentative as listed in the syllabus, but um, I put in Monday 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., Wednesday 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. I realize that uh, partially this falls during the normal lecture period for this class, but we won't have live lectures during that period, so I imagine that those should work well uh, for you, and Wednesday afternoons 1 to 3 p.m. Uh, these will be held virtually using Blackboard Virtual Classroom. We won't be using the virtual classroom for this course's Blackboard site, and the reason for that is that these hours are common to all of the classes I'm teaching this semester. So instead, um, we'll use these special links uh, that are available here. There's one for the Monday and Wednesday morning sessions and another for the Wednesday afternoon sessions. And uh, by following those links, you'll be able to uh, log in as a guest for uh, those sessions. Rather than using email to contact me in this course, we're going to use the Blackboard course messages module only. This is because I'm teaching several courses this summer and I don't want uh, to have my email inbox overwhelmed by things from classes in this way to also make it easier to keep track of what's coming from which course. We talked a little bit about the course messages module in the uh, uh, Meet the Instructor and, and Blackboard site introduction. Um, please see that if you want more detail about how that module works, but it's basically an email system internal to the course. Uh, this is a small class, so there's no GA. Uh, ha so how the class is going to work, so most week notionally there's two lectures. Um, theoretically these are on Monday and Wednesday mornings. Uh, the first six lectures, as well as lectures, uh, the, sort of the, f the final couple of lectures, will be available um, as pre-recorded videos of me talking through the slides. Um, the slides will also be available, so more or less like what you're, you're watching right now. For the remaining lectures, these are based on reading assignments from the course textbook, and slides will be available that summarize the material. In those slides, there will be links uh, to a few, you know, short, maybe a few minutes long as needed, um, videos of me explaining some of the more complicated concepts in depth. Um, but the textbook is extremely good, as I'll talk about in a minute, and so, um, especially also considering that you, this is a fourth year course, uh, you actually don't really need um, additional material beyond, I think, the textbook itself and the slides. Certainly, um, students in the past couple of offerings of the course have found the book to be very good. The tutorial period is 1 to 3 p.m. on Mondays. And these will be held as live sessions in Blackboard Virtual Classroom. These will be used for conceptual problem solving interactive exercises based on uh, the recent lecture material. These tutorial sessions will be recorded so that students who can't attend for one reason or another will be able to review them later. There's going to be one lab. Um, this will be presented a, a, as a video of an actual compressor in operation with some data for analysis. An important thing I want to talk about again and re-emphasize is the discussion boards. These will extensively be used uh, as a way for students to communicate um, with me uh, and with, for you to communicate with one another. Th this is really intended to replicate or to replace the informal uh, interactions that you might have with the student sitting next to you in class or when you go up to the professor and, and ask a quick question at the start or the end of class. But it's not just going to be used for that. In fact, this will actually also be part of the grading. Self-selected contributions from this will be graded um, and you'll submit that as an assignment at the end of the term. On average, I would expect that you'll need to spend about eight hours a week on this class, all told. Here's a plain language course description that's uh, a little more digestible than the official one. In this course you'll learn about propulsion systems for rockets and fixed-wing aircraft. The main focus will be on jet engines. 
We'll focus on the conceptual design of a modern commercial turbofan engine, including the details of the turbo machinery. And that pretty much covers everything we're going to talk about in this course. In terms of resources, the hub is the Blackboard site. The textbook is Jet Propulsion by Nick Comstey and Andrew Hayes. And this is probably the best undergraduate level textbook I've encountered in my, my career so far. Um, the good news is that, at least for now, it's available for free online at the link that you can see here. The free access currently will go to June 29th, which takes us halfway through the semester. It's possible that the free access will be extended. I'll keep an eye on it and let you know if that happens. Um, but otherwise, as this date approaches, you'll need to either buy a physical copy of the book or an ebook uh, copy from the publisher. Um, because the book is really critical to the course and you, and you do need it. We'll also use for some of the material web resources from MIT OpenCourseWare, um, specifically the course 16.50 Intro to Propulsion Systems. The link for that is here. Because this is an online course, um, I've set out a social contract for online interactions, which essentially um, governs sort of professional and polite online interaction. So this is something that uh, is already live on the Blackboard site and you should have a read for it, through it and uh, its material um, is something that actually will be sort of maybe covered in sort of the week, week one quiz, which I'll talk about a little later. It's very important to recognize that anything that I've posted to the Blackboard site, cannot you can download it for your personal study. You cannot then go and repost that anywhere else or share it with others. Um, the biggest reason for that is not just because I'm trying to keep things hoarded in the classroom, it's there are potentially uh, copyright issues. There are things that are allowed to be used in copy uh, without violating copyright for teaching purposes that if they're used for other purposes could be in violation of copyright. So um, for your own protection, um, it's required that you do not share materials outside of uh, Blackboard. Okay, let's get into the schedule. It says approximate, but it should be pretty set um, because the, this is my third time teaching the course and, and I've sort of refined the, uh, the schedule pretty well. So here we are at lecture one today on the Wednesday of the first week. Um, the associated textbook uh, chapter or readings is here. Um, I'll talk a little bit about how you ought to use the readings um, relative to the lectures um, in the second part of this video. The first three uh, classes um, will be doing some introductory stuff and talking about rocket propulsion. And so the first tutorial we won't, we won't use because there won't really be anything to, to do yet. Um, so I realized up here that I talked about the tutorials as being used for conceptual problem solving. But actually the conceptual problem solving is going to take place in the, in the lectures. Um, and uh, we'll use the tutorials for uh, help with homework and, and project work. Um, there'll also be a quiz. Here's where we see it um, most, most weeks um, so, uh, or after every couple of lectures. Or at least after each topic, I should say. Lectures four and five, as well as lectures one, two, and three, will have full lecture videos, um, as well as lecture six. Um, after the and possibly one of the very later lecture, one of the later lectures. But after that, um, all of these lectures that uh, refer to one of the chapters of the textbook, um, there won't be a full video. Just maybe some small videos to expand on some explanations of more challenging concepts uh, that'll be linked to within the slides. What we see here is that uh, there are quizzes, there are assignments, reports, um, homeworks uh, will be assigned throughout. Um, these homeworks are ungraded, but you will sort of submit them together as part of one of the project reports, as you'll see uh, in a couple of minutes when I get to the evaluation method. In terms of learning outcomes, um, you're gonna, we're going to learn about rocket nozzles, internal combustion engines for aerospace applications, jet engines, and you'll be doing some report writing. Here's something I want to spend a minute on, evaluation methods. 
Um, so the first thing you're going to see here is that there's a lot of things that are evaluated to get to adding up to 100 percent. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight quizzes. The quizzes mostly are worth 3% of the grade. These are going to be multiple choice quizzes that are primarily intended to motivate you to keep up with the lecture material. So after each sort of um, couple of lectures, uh, there'll, there'll be a quiz. Um, the quiz will be available for uh, about 24 hours. And then once you start it, you'll have somewhere you know, in the vicinity of 30 to 60 minutes to complete the quiz, depending on, on how long it is. Um, so these are not intended to be expensive, extremely difficult. They're intended to uh, give you a bit of a carrot for wanting to, or for doing a good job of keeping up with the lectures. More significantly, we see five assignments, each worth 10% of the grade. The assignments, most of them, times one through four are open-ended problems. Um, these essentially replace where we would have had quizzes or uh, you know, in test, tests or exams in a traditional face-to-face -face offering of a class. Um, and basically, um, these are going to require you to synthesize the material from the associated lectures uh, and be able to answer a question that there's not something you can kind of look up and that you can't just all sort of compute the same answer. So um, the, the, these will be fairly demanding. Um, they shouldn't be terribly long, uh, but, but they, they, they will sort of require a significant amount of effort. We see that there is a report for the engine design calculations. This is essentially what the homework gets you. The homework uh, gets you a series of calculations for uh, conceptual design of a jet engine. And in this report, you will compile all that together and write it up as a technical report. And this will be a group activity. There's also going to be a lab. As mentioned earlier, there'll be a report you have to write, write up on that, which will also be done as a group. Um, and that's worth 13% of the grade. And then there'll be uh, a final quiz, uh, which is based on sort of four lectures worth of material, so it's worth twice as much. Um, and assignment five, um, which is going to be where you have to curate and submit what you feel are your three best contributions to the discussion boards, whether these are good questions you asked, helpful answers you gave others, etc. All three of these last things, assignment four, quiz eight, and assignment five, will be due during the final exam slot for the course, and so they essentially together comprise the final assessment. That's about it for the syllabus. There's maybe a couple of other minor things um, that are useful because we're dealing with an online course to talk about. Um, with regards to the message boards, I will, in the next few days, provide some examples of expectations for professionalism and messages to the instructor or post it on message boards. I'll do that through the message boards themselves, actually. That's, I think, the main things that I needed to cover in, in the syllabus. So now let's switch back uh, to... Now let's switch back to uh, the slides. And I'll go through a few more slides before we get to the formal part two of this lecture. So this course is going to work as follows. Um, basically, that preparation material that we saw within the syllabus, whether it's MIT Open Courseware lectures or textbook reading assignments, is something you should do before you sort of consume the lecture uh, slides themselves. It's going to be assumed that you've done that before going through the lecture slides or watching the lecture videos. Um, the exceptions are, 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 are today and lectures four and five. Lectures four and five, there's, there's only a full video in the slides. There's no other sort of assigned reading material. In the slides, I'll cover the material at a high level and, and do go through some conceptual problems. In the tutorial, um, I'll use that time during live uh, Blackboard virtual classroom sessions to answer your questions about the homework, projects, lab reports, and anything else about the course material.